Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update August 7th, 2019 edition. In this edition, Arsenal Military Academy premieres, When Will Pillow Book premiere, and Xing Zhao Ling's updates. But first, Healer of Children is an upcoming modern drama starring Chen Xiao and Olivia Wang. Olivia Wang plays a woman who was inspired to become a pediatrician after her life is saved by one when she was a child. Chen Xiao plays her colleague and together they strive to make children's lives better. Although there's no mention of a romance in any of the synopses I've read, I'm sure one brews. Chen Xiao was recently in a journey to meet love with Jing Tian, whereas Olivia Wang was in Bureau of Transformer. Saving children's lives is indeed heroic work, so you can see why the Chinese censorship board has approved of it to play during the 100 days of broadcasting period. As such, we can expect it to premiere sometime within the next three months. Arsenal Military Academy starring Bai Lu and Xu Kai premiered yesterday. It tells the story of a woman who disguises herself as a man to join the military academy in her older brother's stead. I watched the first episode and to be honest, I'm not really feeling it. Republican era dramas are not my favorite to begin with. And like I said in a previous video, Bai Lu is a hard sell for a man. So that whole woman disguised as a man premise isn't working for me. On top of that, the fact that all the actors are overdubbed doesn't help. But if you want to check it out, it is available on Aichi. 12 episodes in so far. A promenade through the Tang Dynasty wrapped filming after 162 days of filming. The drama stars Li Yitong and Xu Kai and tells the story of a merchant's daughter who becomes a weaving female official of the Tang court. The drama is touted as the next big drama from the makers of the story of Yanxi Palace, so there is much excitement about it. And now it's time for me to answer a question from one of you, a fan who supports my channel with a dollar or more by contributing through Patreon. Today's question comes from Linda Burns, who asks, Hi Marcus, I would like to ask when will the pillow book be coming out and what is the latest happening with Xing Ling and Zhang Zihan? Good question, Linda, and one that I'm sure many viewers appreciate you asking. So first, a little intro to The Pillow Book for those of you who don't know what the big deal is with this drama that seemingly everybody is waiting for. Three Lives, Three Worlds, The Pillow Book is an upcoming Chinese costume drama based on the novel of the same name written by Tang Qi Gongzi. It is the second of the Three Lives, Three Worlds series, the first of course being Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms, and focuses on the love story between Bai Fengqiu and Donghua Dijun, played by Dil Raba and Van Gogh Gao respectively. I particularly enjoyed this scene with them in Ten Miles of Peach Blossoms, where he, an emperor, carries her, a concubine, on his back as they walk through the rain because he does not want her shoes to get wet. The scene was accompanied perfectly by the theme song, Even If There's No If, by Xiang Xiang. The love story between the two supporting characters in 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms moved many audiences, which is why now that they are the main characters, many audiences are super excited for it. The Pillow Book should give us another look at their romance which spans thousands of years and multiple realms. The drama, which is slated for 60 episodes at the moment, will be the 7th collaboration for the gorgeous looking duo who are also great friends in real life. At the moment, there is no official premiere date yet, and nobody knows when it's going to premiere. Not even the producers, because ultimately, it is the censorship board that determines when they can release it. But what we can do is rule out certain dates. As I mentioned in the recent video, China is going through 100 days of broadcasting quote-unquote suitable programs, and the pillow book just doesn't fit that description. In fact, as a ciencia drama with quote-unquote too much entertainment value, it perfectly fits the description of a program that is prohibited from airing during that period. So we can rule out it premiering anytime between now and November 9th, as that's when the 100 days ends, unless they decide to release it as a web drama, but I doubt that will happen. It's big enough a drama that TV stations will want it. I also checked out the Pillow Book's Weibo page, and they have been active on it, so that's a good indication that they are waiting on or working towards a premiere date. They uploaded a poster and wished everybody a happy qi xi, which is like the Chinese Valentine's Day. Yes folks, the Chinese Valentine's Day falls on August 7th. Some of you might have seen on the website My Drama List, which says that the Pillow Book has a December 31st premiere, but that is just a generic date and really means nothing. The only meaningful date is the one they officially announce on Weibo, and rest assured I will update on that when they do announce it. And the second part of your question, what's the latest with Xing Zhao Ling? Yesterday, Xing Zhao Ling wrapped filming You Are My Destiny, in which he stars with Liang Jie.
Fans will love this reunion of the two stars of the costume drama The Eternal Love, which by the way I'm hearing is getting a third season. The two stars had great chemistry in The Eternal Love, and hopefully can reproduce it in You Are My Destiny. You Are My Destiny is a remake of Fated to Love You, a 2008 Taiwanese drama starring Zhou Chen and Ethan Ron. It tells the story of an unfashionable office girl whose life completely changes when she goes on a cruise and meets the wealthy heir of a big company. The original series was a huge success in Taiwan and still holds viewing records till this day, so undoubtedly many viewers are gonna compare it to this remake. Other than You Are My Destiny, Sing Zhao Ling has another modern drama coming up, Lucky's First Love, in which he stars with Bai Lu, and also Wen Tian Lu, a costume drama in which he plays Zhong Kui, a vanquisher of ghosts and demons. He also celebrated his 22nd birthday on July 22nd. And finally, Zhang Zihan. It's been a while now since a Zhang Zihan drama has played, the last being Legend of Yunxi, and that ended almost a year ago now. But he does have five upcoming dramas. Everyone Wants to Meet You, a modern drama with Zhang Ruonan. The Second Sight Fall in Love, a modern drama with Li Yixuan. Cao Ke, a costume drama with Wu Jingyan. And Castle in the Time, a modern drama with Korean actress Park Min Young. Additionally, he is rumored to reunite with Chu Jingyi in The Way of Favors, but that hasn't been officially confirmed. More updates on that to come, so stay tuned. Thanks Linda Burns for your question, and thank you everyone for watching. This channel would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply just watching, commenting, and sharing. Subscribe and like, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers!